The fate of Cynthia Summer, accused of poisoning her Marine sergeant husband and then partying it up, sits with the jury. A verdict could come in at any moment. All right, let's introduce tonight's panel, former U.S. Attorney Chuck LaBella, Jeff Isaac, the so-called lawyer in blue jeans, who's also a radio talk show host, and forensic pathologist Dr. Jonathan Arden is here in studio today. Quite a treat. Yeah, Jeff, in a situation like this, we, we start tracking back. We say, well, there were the cops. There, there may have been, in, in a lot of cases, a grand jury. Then there's the DA's office reviewing, and then there's sometimes the tendency when you don't know what to do with the case, try it and hope that those good 12 citizens will make a decision and take it off your lap. What do you think happened here? Yeah, well, yeah, you throw it against the wall. You just throw the mud against the wall and see what sticks in this case. And I do agree with Chuck that it's interesting. Uh, you could pick a lot of areas where I think there could be reasonable doubt in the legal sense. Maybe not the preponderance of evidence, which we have in civil work. Is it more likely than not that she's guilty? Yeah, probably so. But is it reasonable doubt? And the, the issues are, there's so many of them. There's at least four or five that I counted. And quite frankly, uh, it's interesting. Right now, the readbacks are on credibility, the actions, the words of her, not the scientific evidence. So one of two things have happened. Either they have decided that, well, we're not going to get to the scientific evidence first, or they've gotten through that. And if they have, that means they've gotten to the arsenic and accepted that. And now they're looking to see, well, can we buy this person as being a murderer? So that's the bottom line. And Jeff, before we go, how many, how, how many of these issues ever get treated on appeal, the sufficiency of the evidence questions. Judges rarely grant motions to dismiss by, uh, by defense counsel. What about that on appeal? It yeah, I don't know. I think that, quite frankly, there could be a lot of holes in this case where it could uh, actually go somewhere in appeal, including maybe even competency of counsel. She was never even asked, which the prosecution brought up, did you kill your husband? She had a, a, a great opportunity to do that. The jury never even heard that. So uh, we, there's, there's several issues that could come up. That's certainly one of them, as well as the fact that there was no psychologist involved. There was no psychologist brought up or psychiatrist indicating what grieving is, and maybe there's a percentage of the population that actually be uh, promiscuous or, or get, go, grieve a different way than maybe the normal might be.